With Madden 24 coming soon, we would like to take a look back at the top 10 players of the Madden 23 cycle as voted on by the SML members. So without further ado, let's take a look at that list. Definitely deserving of a spot on the top 10 here. Referred to some of the league as a folding chair. Not going to get into that, but I do know one thing. Meets is consistent. He's always near the top of the record board at the end of the cycle. He's a good player. That's not by accident in the SML. Um, he's a tough out, good competitor, and he's always willing to contribute and make the league better. I um, have a lot of respect for Meats. The 10th best player of the Madden 23 cycle as voted on by the players is I Got The Meats, a competitive player and easily the best field goal kicker the SML has ever seen. What's going on SML? Double Ray Snow being here. Happy to announce the next member of the SML top players of the cycle list. Um, honored to announce Jace Move, who had a quietly good cycle. He finished with 63% win rate. He managed to make all five playoffs after the blip and even won two games against a good opponent in Dom. Coming in at number nine is Jay Smoove, who has had a great defense all cycle, and he silently had a very solid and consistent offense, especially with the commander's team. Doink has won some playoff games and comes in at number nine. When I introduced Noel to the world of online connected franchise, he was really just a guy. He was just happy to be here. But every cycle, he continues to fight to get better and improve more and more. He's up this run game. He's up this defense. He's playing light years better than he was just a couple cycles ago. And I expect the ascension to only continue in the Madden 24. At number eight, we have Noel Overlord. This guy has been a perennial playoff contender and even made a Super Bowl in Madden 23's last season. When it comes to DMUs, you know, you think of consistent, always natural winner. Uh, he deserves all the praise, all the credit. One of the best users in the league. Um, always giving you winning seasons, making a couple Super Bowls. And I'm honored to call him a brother in real life as well. D Muse comes in at number seven, and D Muse is known for a few things a steady offense with no mistakes and a very solid defense, and that puts you in playoff games, that wins you a lot of games, and that gets D Muse to number seven in SML for Madden 23. Yeah, so with uh, with Mad Bomber, man, he's, he's tough. He's, he's a top tier guy, uh, and you know every time you play him, he's going to be prepared what you do, know your tendencies and such. So uh, you, your, your best game plan against Bomber is just trying to not make mistakes and, and hope he makes one or two here and there. Um, but that's not very likely with him. Number six, we have Mad Bomber. He'll probably tell you it's a down cycle, but a down cycle for him is a great cycle for most. And that gets him as the sixth best player of Madden 23. Oh man, Dan. Great player, great all-around player too. Passing, rushing, defensively. Cool, calm, and collective, but uh, don't let that fool you. He's got some fire in him. Uh, when it's said and done, he'll, he'll, he'll definitely be in that top 10, top five best SML players of all time. And kicking off our big five is Dan He the most cerebral player in the SML, always so prepared and ready to beat you, uh, take away what you do best. Dan He at number five. Matt's a player that is going to consistently attack his opponents with fundamentals and consistency. Nothing comes easy when it's his week on your calendar, and he's done a lot in recent seasons to improve some of his weaknesses like offensive explosiveness. Matt has really started to hit his stride over the past few cycles, but I don't think we've even seen his peak yet. And coming in at number four is Matt, one of the most respected players in the SML. Personally, I compare playing him to fighting Floyd Mayweather. This guy is a silent assassin, knows what he's going to do, and is just a good all-around player. No list of the top players in the SML is complete without QP's name near the top. Post-blip, we saw QP take a Bucks team that lost Tom Brady 
and he turns Davis Mills into a Super Bowl winning X Factor quarterback. For anybody that's seen him play over the cycles, this wasn't much of a shock. Uh, but what sometimes got overlooked was the way he stepped up his defense this cycle. He was consistently a lock for a top five defensive unit every single season. This combined with his already dominant offense made him an even better player this cycle, building upon the success of last year. Coming in at number three is QP, who finished off the Madden 23 cycle with the Super Bowl victory. QP is one of the best passers in the league, a solid player, and a heck of a competitor. That's QP, the number three ranked player of the Madden 23 cycle. It's the Faz, one of the most feared members of the SML. Dude, Faz is such a great competitor, man. Uh, I'd compare him to uh, the likes of Steph Curry. You know, he's flashy. He can absolutely bury you. And you can never count him out because of his offensive skill set. Easily one of the best competitors in the SML. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. It's the Faz. Coming in at number two is It's the Faz, who is a great competitor, has the second most wins of the cycle, has won a lot of games with Aaron Rodgers, then took Allen Whiting and won a lot more. Hey, he's the number two ranked player of the cycle for a reason. Man, what a complete honor I have right now to introduce this man, the one, the only, the greatest thing ever to hit Madden online football. The GOAT himself, prime time, zero, zero, zero. You know, when I think of prime, I think con cocky, but confident. You know, he puts the fear in most, and he's won the most. You know, over 20, and he's going for 30. You know, he's just a great passer, and he knows how to read the field, and he's never out of a game. You know, the last thing you want is prime with the ball with under a minute left because it's game over. That means game over. He is, you know, up there with MJ, with uh, Brady, with Gretzky, you know, uh, with Jeter. He's up there with all the greats on the Mount Rushmore of greatness, and he is the SML GOAT. There's no person that's better than him, babe. No way. Coming in at number one is Prime. I'm sure this is no surprise to anyone. No matter what team he has, he is a force in the SML. The excellence of execution, undefeated seasons, back-to-back -back Super Bowl champ. There's a reason they call him the GOAT. 